and um, I intend to ask some questions in that area, but it doesn't make sense to ask questions if I haven't laid the predicate, particularly for uh, viewers who are um, <coughs> watching this. So um, I guess the reason that I want to do this is because people who are watching this um, need to understand that this small hearing room and the little TV box that you're looking at, um, the little screen that you're looking at, are a little bit like the uh, frame of a, of a puppet theater. And if you only look at what's going on in the puppet theater, you're not going to understand the whole story. You're not going to understand um, the real dynamic <clears throat> of what is going on here. Um, and you're certainly not going to understand forces outside of this room who are pulling strings and pushing sticks and causing uh, the puppet theater to react. So first, let me say, why do I think outside forces are here pulling strings? Well, part of it is behavior. We have uh, colleagues here who supported you, this nominee, <clears throat> before there was a nominee. That's a little unusual. Um, we have the political ram job that we have already complained of, driving this process through at breakneck speed in the middle of a pandemic while the Senate is closed for safety reasons and while we're doing nothing about the COVID epidemic around us. <clears throat> We have some very awkward 180s from colleagues. Mr. Chairman, you figure in this. Uh, our leader um, said back when it was Garland versus uh, Gorsuch that, of course, of course, the American people should have a say in the court's direction. Of course, of course, said Mitch McConnell. That's long gone. Senator Grassley said the American people shouldn't be denied a voice. That's long gone. Senator Cruz said you don't do this in an election year. That's long gone. And our chairman made his famous hold the tape promise if an opening comes in the last year of President Trump's term, we'll wait till the next election. That's gone too. So there is a lot of hard-to-explain hypocrisy and rush taking place right now. And my experience around politics is that when you find hypocrisy in the daylight, look for power in the shadows. Now, people may say, well, what does all this matter? This is a political parlor game. It's no big deal. Well, there are some pretty high stakes here that we've been talking